But actually, it's me, Connor, the Android sent by CyberLife. Today I'm going to teach you how to use Schematica. For that, you need to install Forge in whatever version you want. I'm using 1.8.9, and you need to install Lunatrius Core and Schematica all in the same version. These two mods need to go into your mods folder. So when you have done all of that, you can load your game. You can see that your mods are loaded and active. And then you can go into a game. So the first thing we need to do is assign some key bindings for easier use of the mod. We go to options, controls, and we scroll down until we find schematica. These are the default keys, but I'm going to change mine. So I'm going to change load schematic, manipulate schematic, save, and toggle printer. And we press done. And now we're going to save the schematic. So we press the key that we assigned to save, and we get a menu. First, when you press these, you think nothing happens, but that's because this one is off. So this one needs to be on. Now you see you have red and blue point in the same block. So if I open the menu again and I press blue point, this, this shows you what's being saved in the schematic currently. So if I build anything in here, that's going to get saved when I save it. But I want to save my farm. So I open the menu again and I use these keys to change the position of the red block. Red block is changed. Now I need to change the blue one. So I go over here and I open the menu again and I press blue point, move it one down <laughs> and one over here. So now everything is inside the schematic. Then we open the menu again and we go down here, we title it, video, and we press save. We exit the menu, a message will show up in chat. When it says started saving chunks, it means that it's saving and it's not done saving until it says successfully saved. So if you're saving a really big build and it says started saving 40 chunks, you need to wait a bit before you leave the server or yeah. So now that we have our schematic saved, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to load that schematic. So I'm pressing my key, scrolling down in my schematic list and I'm loading video. Here is the schematic that we just saved and I can print it. Now I'm going to show you how to manipulate schematics. So I'm going to load this really tall, really tall pillar again to show you. Okay, it's in a weird spot, but we can fix that. So you press the key that you assigned for manipulating schematics and you get a menu. These coordinates display where your pillar is currently sitting or where your schematic is currently sitting. And I want to move mine down once and to the side and back. I mean, back. But oh no, we can't place it like this, right? So I'm gonna show you something cool. You open the menu again and you press rotate twice. Now it fits. Awesome. Now I can start placing. But if I want to extend my front this way, let me show you again. Move here, one down, one back. But now it seems we have the same problem again. So open the menu again and you rotate. Now it fits. But if you were following a layout for your farm and you couldn't place more than this and you only have the schematic, it's obviously too long. So the thing you do is you move it in here until it fits. Now I can place the remaining two rows of 
cactus cactus if I wanted to inside this layout that I have. You can also do this even if your layout was there. You see it's messed up but we can rotate it and it fits. So just play with the manipulate schematic menu and you'll figure out how to use it. So the next thing I'm going to cover is layers. I'm going to load some terrain that I've done in creative. Okay, that's not very tall. <laughs> Need to choose another one. This terrain one. This one is really tall. So the problem here is that when you have solid block builds like this, everything in here is a stone. You can't build from the inside because if you stand here and you do that, if I press P now, there's going to be a sphere of stone around me. So we can't do it that way, but then we open the schematic, manipulate schematic menu again. And we press this button called all and then it shows now it shows layers that's what it means now it's at layer zero that's the bottom layer and when we have placed all of this we can move on to the next layer and so forth that's how you do terrain without encasing yourself in stone and now I'm going to show you how to change blocks in a schematic if you want to going to load my sea castle. If I want to change any of the blocks in here, I need to put a command in chat. Schematica replace Minecraft. You can do it with any block, so I would write block, but I'm gonna change stone to Minecraft gold block. Minecraft stone does not exist. Is it one then? One doesn't exist either. Oh, I wrote, <laughs> I misspelled Minecraft. That's great. We can save it. There we go. So now all my stone in the build is gold block. Quite nice, rich. Okay. Um, to change it back, I just reverse what I wrote. So replace gold block with stone. And there you have that. So that's all for manipulating schematics. And now I need to talk about some printer settings they're quite important on uh, servers. I'm gonna load the cactus again. So placing on single player is going to be a lot faster because there's nothing that limits how fast you place but a server might limit how fast you place because of lag. So on single player I can place I can fly this fast and place cactus, which is quite nice. But on servers, you might have to change some settings. So we're going to open mod options and schematica. We we'll press press schematica and then we press config and printer. So the default settings are placement delay one, placement distance. 5. Place instantly is false. And everything here is false. So the things that you can change is you can turn placement distance up and down if you want. You can turn placement delay all the way to zero. No server is going to kick you for that, I think. And um, you can be fine with this, but it's not as fast, obviously. So you have to fly slowly, but if you want to do that a little faster, you can open 
the config again and you can um, press place instantly turn the distance a little bit down go back in game and you can tap space to not get kicked if you do it this way you might not get kicked that's it's just trial and error so you have to try it out on all servers that you play on so i'm going to talk about one more thing and that is hopper slots you want to keep some tools in your hotbar but you want to let printer use these slots then you can go in mod options schematica config printer and you press hopper slots you see that allow slot one two three are false that means schematica can't use those slots which means your your tools won't get moved around in your inventory when you're using printer but if i turn these on that's going to change it won't now because i'm in creative but if you want to set some of these to false then you can if you want to keep some things if you want to keep some tools in your hopper and i think that's that's everything we need to cover i'm gonna check my note make sure i didn't leave anything out nope i didn't so that's all for this tutorial hope it was helpful and um thanks for watching